ಯಶೋಧನಂದನ ವ್ರಜ ಜನರಂದನ ಯಶೋಧನಂದನ ವ್ರಜ ಜನರಂದನ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ರಷ್ಟಾಯ ಭೂತಲೆ ಶ್ರೀಮತಿ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿನ್ನಿತಿ ನಾಮಿನೆ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಸಾರಸ್ವತಿ ದೇವಿ ಗೌರವಾಣಿ ಪ್ರಚಾರಿಣೆ ನಿರ್ವಿಶೇಷ ಶೂನ್ಯವಾದಿ ಪಾಶಾತ್ಯದೇಶ ತಾರಿಣೆ ಜೈ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಗದಾಧಾರ ಶ್ರೀ ಪಾಶಾದಿ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತ ವೃಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ Hare Krishna, mm-hmm. welcome to all of you for this wonderful Gaur Purnima program. Tomorrow is actual Gaur Purnima. Uh, English is fine for everyone. Okay. <laughs> so, Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Tomorrow is the appearance day of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. We also call him as Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Generally in South Indian region, this name is not much famous. Okay. Rama, Krishna, Narasimha. even other gods shiva parvati durga are all famous all over india but this name gauranga or chaitanya nimai these names are not much familiar in south india or even western uh, western part of india okay maybe in orissa in west bengal this name is very popular okay now our knowledge limited is very limited when it comes to avatar okay first thing who is god that itself we have a lot of confusion <laughs> even after attending bhagavad gita it is not mandatory that we have to accept the philosophy we can take our time pray to krishna or whom whomever we have natural attraction it could be lord shiva or could be any other god demi god also we can pray to them to guide us so that they can guide us what is that ultimate truth so many serials movies and hence when it comes to god our knowledge is 
our knowledge always circulates only around that <laughs> because we have never read <laughs> from the proper scriptures correct see whenever knowledge what is meant by knowledge what is the definition of knowledge knowledge means knowing and information to the edge that is called knowledge what is meant by intelligence intelligence means applying the right knowledge at the right situation to take the right decision that is the difference between intelligence and knowledge now unless i get the right source of data how i will have right knowledge that is what happening in in terms of god also right so now we will slowly enter into the session okay so tomorrow gaur purnima many of us i told many of us for sure in south india this name is not popular okay generally when it comes to vishnu what the incarnations list of avataras we know is only 10 because this terminology dasavatar has become <laughs> very familiar in the society dasavatar but if we read where is the dasavatar is mentioned actually there is a poet called jayadeva goswami okay no i want that excel from there is a poet called jayadeva goswami he written a song called dasavatara stotra somehow based on that this dasavatara has become very famous but otherwise when it comes to incarnations or avataras of vishnu it is not just limited to 10 avatars it is unlimited it is very very unlimited so various types of avatars are there okay some are called leela avatars some are called guna avatar some are called shakti avesh avatar so different six types of avatars are there okay so six types of avatars are there okay so now if you read shrimad bhagavatam okay we all know krishna serial which was telecasted long before in national <laughs> dd channel right when we were childhood maybe modern kids may not have much idea but when we were young right we all know that rama and mahabharat that krishna serial ramanand sagar is the producer right so from where they took that information actually it was from shrimad bhagavatam from shrimad bhagavatam 10th canto which has been composed 5000 years before by sri la vyasa dev okay that was the source where these producers they took information they produced that serial and telecasted okay now if you read bhagavatam bhagavatam describes more than 40 or 45 types of avatars well, not types 40 avatars of krishna lord also appeared in the form of swan hamsa okay so it is not just limited to 10 avatars it is unlimited okay but now the problem is in this modern age many people they are posing themselves as avatars but how do i know whether they are really original or a duplicate see before any avatar comes okay before any avatars vishnu takes avatar it will be predicted in the scriptures it will be predicted in any one of the scripture so for example in shrimad bhagavatam buddha name is already predicted buddha right buddhism is all over this chinese japanese asian countries the name buddha it's already predicted where he will appear who is his father and the mother okay so similarly each avatar it is already present in the scripture when they will appear where they will appear to whom they will appear and what will be the purpose of that specific incarnation it is all already predicted in the scriptures because we are not reading the scriptures what happens we do not know how to identify who is real avatar who is fake <laughs> okay now this is about avatars now coming to gauranga mahaprabhu so krishna we are in march 2024 as per roman calendar but if you see as per our vedic calendar okay we are in kali yuga okay we are in kali yuga how many years kali yuga have any have anybody has idea 227000 no 
ಹೇ ಶುಡ್ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಓಕೆ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಲಿ ಯುಗ ಸೊ ಕಲಿ ಯುಗ ಇಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಲ್ಯಾಕ್ ತರ್ಟಿ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಯು ಆರ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಸಿ ಆಲ್ ಪ್ರಭುಜಿ ಯು ಆರ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಸಿ ದಿಸ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನ್ ಆರ್ ಐ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಬಿಟ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ರೀಸ್ ದಿ ಸೈಜ್ it's okay it's okay because it is a, it is going to be a heavy calculation hence i thought of showing in the screen if i tell in mouth right it's too hard to remember and calculate in mind okay so 432000 is the not kalki kali okay kali yuga okay so before kali yuga now how many years we have passed in kali yuga it's 5 point plus years we have passed it okay so remaining how many years we, we are yet to pass 4 lakh 27000 years yet to go <laughs> okay so now before kali yuga what was the age so for, see when i say 4 lakh 32000 is it is as per human solar cal, uh, calendar okay solar calculation 365 days is our one year right like that 4 lakh 32000 years it is what kali yuga just we have passed 25000 years another 4 lakh 27000 years are yet to go hmm? so now before kali yuga what was it was dwapara hmm? i will just put dwapara hmm? dwapara is was double to kali yuga that much number of years solar years was dwapara yuga okay huh? no 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 i can't type i can't type so before that was treta yuga where lord ram appeared so this dwapara yuga right this is at the end of this dwapara yuga only lord krishna appeared okay so lord krishna appeared 5000 years before now uh, ramayan mahabharat we know to main epics okay shribad bhagavatam vishnu purana as well as the kalki purana we call it as purana but when it comes to ramayana or mahabharat we won't call it as purana we, we call it as itihasas you know why no. purana is also history na ha huh? see purana purana is also somewhere it happened they have not written some myth okay but there is one difference between itihasas and puranas god has appeared oh, in puranas also god has appeared <laughs> they have itihasas are written when it happened as it happened ah when it comes to it, purana means puranapi navam it has written many lakhs or thousands of years before but when we read it will always give you a fresh meaning when we read it will appear like it has happened something reason uh, reasonably recently and we will feel something fresh okay that is called purana but when it comes to itihasa the author should be present in that time he should have witnessed everything and if it is truth then he should have written that that is what called itihasa okay so ramayan during the time of ramayan before ramayan itself valmiki rishi appeared before mahabharat started itself vyasa dev appeared and he witnessed everything and what he witnessed what was truth that he written and how many shlokas in mahabharat huh? 1 lakh 25000 shlokas <laughs> okay 1 lakh 25000 shlokas he has written in so much poetic way okay so this treta yuga is the period where lord ram appeared okay so this treta yuga is calculation of three that is three times of kali yuga age this many number of years okay then before that satya yuga so the the 
order is satya yuga treta yuga dwapara yuga kali yuga and what was the total number of years was four times of kali yuga okay so satya treta dwapara kali okay so now i will do submit Four lakh thirty two, uh huh, forty three lakh twenty thousand years. Okay. This is called Chatur Yuga. Okay. So is this clear? <laughs> this is called Chatur Yuga. Four forty three lakhs twenty twenty thousand. Okay. This is called one Chatur Yuga. Now in one Chatur Yuga, we are in Kali Yuga. Five thousand years has been passed, and our life span is eighty years, seventy years. Now we are into IT industry, sucking the blood. <laughs> we will be living for up to sixty years, sixty-five. Before that, how many problems we go through, we do not know. <laughs> okay, this is one chatur yuga. Hmm? Now, like that. Like that. This is twelve hours of Brahma. So one Chatur Yuga is how much? Forty three lakhs twenty twenty thousand years. That is one Chatur Yuga. Like that thousand Chatur Yugas is day of Brahma. Day of Brahma, not night. Just day of Brahma. Okay. <laughs> so now similar period is night of Brahma. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, one minute, one minute. Okay, so night of Brahma. Now it may appear very huge for us. It's very easy to understand. How much? What is the lifespan? What is the lifespan of a mosquito? Two weeks. Two weeks. One hour. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, male mosquito can live up to five days. Female mosquito can live up to fifteen, between fifty and thirty days. If no all out, no mosquito bed, <laughs> then it can up to live live up to thirty days. Okay, otherwise it will die. Now within that five days period, that male mosquito it will give birth to lot of sons, and that sons will produce lot of sons. So the male mosquito can be able to see sons, grandsons, and grandsons, sons and daughters. It will die. For that, it is a long period. For that, it is a long period. Okay. Now, when compared to mosquitoes' lifespan, our lifespan is very huge. Or when compared to our lifespan, mosquitoes' lifespan is nothing. So imagine now, within our one-year period, how many mosquitoes might be taking birth, dying, taking birth, dying. Now, compared to ant, cockroach, ant. Right in in our one year period, how many ants, how many cockroaches might be taking birth and dying? Right, there are also bacteria. You know, when we breathe, it dies. You all know, right? When we breathe, there are many bacteria will die, and there are also bacteria. There are also bacteria which has lifespan of one hour. And that one hour, what it will do? It will take birth. It will start to grow. It will get married. It will have son. It will get old. Its body will get dwindled, and it will die. <laughs> and that one hour period, that bacteria will feel enough. I have lived for long. Let me give up my life. The bacteria will die. So now, how many one hours we have in our entire one one year period? In our one-year period, how many living beings are taking birth as bacteria and changing the bodies? Unimaginable, right? It's too difficult to calculate. Now come to Brahma's period. Similarly, in Brahma's period, we are taking so many birth. Okay, so now this is the night, na? So twenty-four hours. So twenty-four hours. 
plus okay this is 24 hours of brahma so 12 hours similar to us only it's not very difficult we are we will get up night what happened we do not know we went into deep sleep we were in ignorance we got up and we started doing our work then at the end of the before end of the night reaches slowly we stopped the work and we went to bed similarly when brahma creates at the end of his day he goes to sleep similar number of years he has to sleep then he gets up again he has to create wherever the souls that is we are only wherever the karma we have left again brahma has to find out okay he has this many karma left i have to put him into a suitable womb he stopped here i have to put him into a suitable body that's it that is what is happening now let's say average if i am living 100 years in one birth okay for sure i am not we are not going to i am doubtful whether we will live up to 100 years in this modern period suppose if i live 100 years in this birth or every birth i am taking 100 years if i am living suppose so now in one day of brahma how many bodies i might have changed how many janmas i might have taken I do not know even previous Janma also, where I have born, what kind of things I have eaten, what I swallowed, with whom I had fighting, what kind of body I got also, you know, because there are 84 lakh species of bodies are there. At the time of death, what I am remembering, plus what I have so much desires, what I am remembering, plus what kind of desires I have, right, in that combination only I will get the next body. It's not that every time I will take only human body. Suppose if I am more addicted to swimming, okay, I have that passion or let's say I have, I'm an athlete, I have that passion to run faster. At the time of death, I keep meditating on that. I will take birth as a horse or cheetah so that I can run very faster. So Krishna is also very merciful to fulfill our desire. Okay, so this is clear, right? Okay, so 43 crores 20, no, 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 43 cross 2 four lakhs four bodies four at four least. 4 crores 32 lakhs. Even if I put in each birth, I have lived 100 years. Okay. So at least I have changed minimum. 4 crore times. That is a minimum. <laughs> minimum. <laughs> that is in one day of Brahma. Now, what is the age of Brahma? The current Brahma, uh, uh, total lifespan of Brahma is 100. Okay. So this is one day of Brahma. Like that. 365. 360, actually not 365. So like that. Oh, it's not calculating. So one year of Brahma. Okay, no, it won't come. I tried in. <laughs> no, it won't come. Okay, so like that. Brahma years is 100. Okay. So Brahma has to live. That is 3114. After that, 14 zeros, if you put, that is the lifespan of Brahma. Okay. Now, why I am telling all this is this day time, what I calculated, right? 43 lakhs, 20,000 years. That is one Chaturiga into 1000, okay, I do not know the count, it is how much, <laughs> 4,320 crores years, okay, whatever may be, billion, trillion, okay, so this is one day of Brahma, in this one day of Brahma only, Lord Krishna appears, many avatars will be keep coming, okay, Purma, Matsya, Varaha, that is what we heard from movies and serials, but that is not true, if we read Srimad Bhagavatam, Many number of avatars will keep coming. Okay, not only that. See, I am a soul. Okay, how many eight among the 84 lakh species of life bodies? What kind of body I have got? I do not know. Now, suppose I am very much devoted to Lord Krishna. Somehow, at the end of my life, I remember the something which I should not remember. Accordingly, I have taken another body. Let's say I have somewhere I have taken birth as a fish in Pacific Ocean. 
Okay. Bhagavatam says, Krishna also appears in the form of a fish to teach me lessons there. So it's not that the Lord Krishna appears only in India playing flute or carrying bow in the form of Lord Rama. Wherever that 84 lakh species of life, different types of bodies we are getting, right? Wherever the soul takes like that and he suffers, everywhere Lord also appears there in that same form. But according to that, the Lord will preach to them. Somewhere, if I have taken birth as a tree, who will take care of me? Who will nurture me? Who will protect me? Like somewhere in the forest, let's say in my next birth, I have taken birth, I will take birth as a tree. But my devotion, what I have done to Krishna, that will not go in vain. That will always continue. So the Lord will remember my devotion. He will appear there in the form of a tree. Nobody can even recognize that. He will preach according to that species of tree, what the tree will understand. That is the mercy of Krishna. Okay. Now, the Krishna playing float, who performed past times in Vrindavan, he appears only once in a day of Brahma. That is this many number of years. I do not know how to convert in English terminology. 40, 400, 4,000, 40,000. 432 crores. 432 crores. Right. Ah. So in 432 crores of years, only once, Lord Krishna appears. Okay. Now why again? Why I have to tell all this? Whenever Lord Krishna appears, okay. So once in this period, Krishna appears. Hmm? I will move a little bit. Okay, because night, anyway, everybody will go into the mouth of Vishnu. So, this is the period only once Krishna appears. And whenever Krishna appears, okay, that same Krishna will appear in the subsequent of in the subsequent Kali Yuga in the name of Gauranga or Chaitanya. Okay. Now before Krishna appeared itself in Srimad Bhagavatam, it is predicted, not in Srimad Bhagavatam, in other various literatures. Srimad Bhagavatam has been returned, has been compiled after Krishna's appearance, but there are also other scriptures before Krishna's appearance. Krishna appeared here. It is already predicted that the Lord will appear here, so and so place, and to so and so mother and father. What perform, what past times he performs, everything has been predicted in a literature called the Brahma Samhita. When Brahma started his day, he written a literature called Brahma Samhita. He already put everything. He already has put everything at what time Krishna will appear, what kind of past times he will perform. Okay. Now, similarly, no, 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 no. Okay. So, Krishna appeared in so whenever see this is this is the day of Brahma. Okay. Day. This is the daytime of Brahma. Okay. This is thousand chaturigas. Okay. So now in this day, like that, Brahma has passed many days. Okay. Now in the current day of Brahma, okay, thousand chaturigas. Hmm? So this thousand chaturiga concept you understood, right? So thousand chaturigas, okay. Now what happened? That thousand chaturiga, how it will be divided is thousand divided by fourteen, okay. Approximately seventy two, okay. Now I will tell. I will tell. Okay, fourteen, fourteen, fourteen. Okay. So thousand. He divides by 14, it is 72. Okay. So Brahma appoints 14 persons called Manus. Their name is called Manu. That man, man we are calling, right? That man is the Sanskrit word. Man is a Sanskrit word. Manu is also Sanskrit word. It is not English word. <laughs> okay. So 14 Manus, they will take care of 72 Chaturigas. Am I confusing? Is it clear? <laughs> 
I know it's very huge calculation, but it will be amazing calculation. Okay. So like that. First to Manu, 72 Chaturikas went. Second, sorry. Second, 72 Chaturikas went. Like that. 14. Now we are in the Swayam Bhuva, Swarochisa, Uttama, Tamasa, Raitika, Chakshusha, Vaivaswata Manu. Now we are in the Savantu Manu's period. And in that 72 Chaturigas has been given to that Savantu Manu. In that we are in the 27th Chaturiga. In the 27th Chaturiga, we are in Kali Yuga. Okay, in the 27th Chaturiga, Dwapara Yuga belongs to the 27th Krishna appeared. Whenever original Krishna appears, in the next after Dwapara Yuga, it is Kali Yuga. In that Kali Yuga, Krishna also appears as Gauranga. Is it clear? <laughs> okay. See, one day of this thousand Chaturigas is one day of Brahma. Okay. But Brahma, he doesn't manage alone. So Brahma, what he does, that thousand Chaturigas, okay, he puts us, he divides uh, thousand Chaturigas by 14. I will tell, I will tell. Okay. So, 1000 divided by 14, it will come approximate to 72. Okay. So, 14 72s. Okay. 14 72s. Okay. So, first 72, second 72, third 72, fourth 72, fifth 72, like that, 14 72s will be there. All together, it will come 998 or 1000 Chaturigas. Okay. So, what Brahma does, he calls one person, this 72 Chatur Yugas. I am telling Chatur Yuga. <laughs> this Chatur Yuga, you maintain. You take care of that. You rule it. The next, next 72, he will call another person, you rule it. You like that, fourth. No, 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 this 72. Well, one chapter 72. Ah, like that, 14 72s. So, 14 into 72, 998. That is how Brahma divides and he appoints 14 persons to take care of each chatu, uh, 72, 72 Chaturigas. Okay. <laughs> one, one class is 72. Huh? In one class, 72. One, one teacher. <laughs> ah, uh, okay. Yeah, you can say one teacher. Okay, like that. 72 Chaturigas. Okay. So, why I am all telling is this. Don't worry, I will share these notes with you. <laughs> okay. So, 1000 Chaturigas is one day of Brahma. But Brahma won't manage just that 1000, 72, 72, 72, like that 14, 72 he divides. In that we are 6th, 72. In that 72 Chaturigas, we are 27th Chaturiga. 7th huh? yeah. uh, seventh, seventh Manus period. In that 72 Chaturigas are there. Now we are now in that 7th Manus period, 72 Chaturiga, only 26 has passed. We are in the 27th. In that Krishna has appeared. Whenever Krishna appears, Krishna again in the subsequent Kali Yuga, Krishna will appear in the form of Gauranga. Okay. That's why we are very fortunate. Now, all this birth, what we have been searching? When is our first, first birth started? Before this birth, I might have taken some birth. That's why I have got a, a specific type of body, specific type of character, voice, nose, taste. Everything is unique, correct? Why is it so? Because I told at the time of death what I remember plus what desire I have, accordingly my next birth will be taken care. It means current birth. Somewhere I have remembered something, that's why I have taken birth in this, right? Then why I have taken previous birth? Because to previous birth, I have taken previous birth. See, because of previous birth, I have taken this birth. So if I keep see like that, when was my first birth started? Before my first birth, where I was? If I have to keep taking birth like this, okay. How I have to come out of this cycle of birth, death, old age, disease? How I should come? <laughs> hmm. ah, Sankirtana has been given now. Okay. So, but still, have, before my first birth, somewhere I was there. 
at some point of time i have started my first birth okay i have keep taking birth in brahma's one day period itself if i divide by 100 at least 4 lakhs that is 2 no 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 4 crores 32 lakhs times i have changed my body i have taken but still in all the birth what i am searching for that ha ah. no 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 krishna comes later now i do not know krishna but still something i am searching right why i have to build so much big house why i have to earn so much moksha is also different see now let's say i am in western country i do not know even what is mean by moksha why i have to even bother about moksha what is that i am doing actually ah happiness okay see now when it comes to happiness another 15 minutes i have so before that i have to complete okay so when it comes to happiness unfortunately this english language has killed many meanings that we have to agree <laughs> because for exactly every emotion there is accurate word is present in our every local language in india whether it is kannada or telugu or sanskrit or even tamil accurate words are present to note or uh, catch hold of that exact emotion unfortunately in english everything we call it as happiness okay see now i am a soul i am into this body but still i am not convinced that i am a soul it's too difficult to be always in that platform right now the soul i am inside this body i am expecting something out of what i am accumulating right i am accumulating car see for a simple example when any engineering graduate when we go to job we may think that i am earning 10000 but if i get 20000 definitely i will become happy but the moment after 2 years when i reach 20000 mind goes for higher salary now 20000 i don't think so it is enough at least 50000 now after 50000 mind goes for 1 lakh right so mind is constantly searching something but why it is not getting settled at some point of time because that happiness what i am searching it is impossible to get in this material world okay so i will come to that point happiness so in sanskrit there are three words sukham shanti ananda okay now i am your soul i am into this material body okay please listen carefully the soul has been in contact of this material body but what that soul is searching through this material body it is not getting it is using this material body and it is getting some kind of happiness that is called sukham we eat we hear we see something which we like so we are all supplying some kind of pleasure to our senses right that is called sukham that pleasure is same same for me for tiger for buffalo for pig for hen everything it is not different i may eat something i may feel very tasty i may give pleasure to my tongue when a crow it eats chili the crow will feel sweet no <laughs> you give that uh, lemon rice crow will eat crow will eat chili the chili will appear very tasty to the crow so what taste for me it doesn't matter for the other living species it is a totally different when a pig it goes in the drainage here and there you give biscuit that pig will not eat but for the pig i should not tell <laughs> it searches something it eats it will feel more pleasure but for us it is hatred we don't even turn back just pass it and wash it and come back never ever see <laughs> where it has gone but for the pig it gives taste so that sukham what bhagavatam says it is a pleasure to the senses but still it is not satisfying us okay then shanti shanti means when everything happens according to my desire my mind gets pacified right mind becomes very cool and what i plan if it works my intelligence becomes very cool that is called shanti but the problem is still it cannot satisfy the soul okay so sukham shanti the third level is called 
Ananda. These are terminologies written in Bhagavatam. That Ananda is the one which the soul is hankering for. The soul is taking so many births, going through various bodies, right? What the soul is hankering for? That Ananda, what? That kind of happiness. Okay, that is what the soul is hankering for. But unfortunately, it will it is getting material body. Through the material body, it is getting shukam, shanti, but it cannot get ananda. That is called eternal bliss. Okay. Why it is searching? Because when we were with Krishna before starting our birth, we were getting the ananda from Krishna. Okay. But we got separated ourselves from Krishna. We started this samsara, birth, death, old age, disease. Then go to the next body. Birth, death, old age, disease. Then go to the next body. Every time I am searching that ananda, but I am not getting. Right? Otherwise, imagine people have so many big bungalow. I am in a very senior position in Infosys. There are much more senior positions in politics, in corporates. But still, who is happy? Nobody is happy. Right? People are even drinking. They are thinking that it will give that ananda, but it is not giving. That's why constantly we are going behind that. Why? Because that ananda, what the soul was getting from Krishna, now it is away from Krishna, but the soul is expecting that same ananda, but without Krishna, the soul cannot get. <laughs> That's why Krishna appears as various avatars to take back the soul, to help the soul to realize this is the ananda which you were getting from me. Because you have been separated from me, now I have come here to give you. Okay, now specialty of Gauranga Mahaprabhu is other incarnations of Vishnu, they will expect surrender. Okay, you come to know now you are your soul. Okay, you know that I am the God. Now you surrender to me, I will tell you what is meant by Ananda. But in case of, in the case of this incarnation, Gauranga, it is not required. Even without surrendering, just by chanting the holy names of Gauranga, our sins and offenses will get cleared off soon by chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare. See, when we chant water, 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 that object water and the meaning of the object water and the word water has a difference. Simply by chanting the name of water, my thirst cannot be quenched. Okay, because the object and the name is totally different. But in case of Krishna, the name Krishna and the personality is same. Right now, it's too difficult to understand also, but it is same. Logically, try to understand, it is same. Okay. When I see Krishna, what is that eternal bliss I will get as a soul? That same bliss, I can start to relish it simply by chanting this Hare Krishna mantra. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Okay. Initially, it will not happen because we have so much contaminations. Some Bhagavad Gita says some kind of dirt, okay, some kind of contamination, it is like a small uh, dust in our skin. We will, we will just blow it, it will go away. Some kind of dust, it is like in the mirror. In the mirror, if a thick layer of oil content is there, you have to rub it. Then your face will be clearly seen. Some kind of dirt or contamination, it is like uh, what to say? Womb. Womb in the mother's womb. Okay. A soul who is in the mother's womb, it's too difficult to, right? It cannot. So, it, based on our contamination, okay, it may take some time to release the taste of Hare Krishna mantra, but still, if somebody chants Panchatattva mantra, Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Atvaita Garadhara Sri Vashadi Gaurabhakta Vrinda If somebody chants this Panchatattva mantra and then chant Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare One not eight times, very soon we will feel the taste. Then we will start to realize this is the taste which I was hankering as a soul. And this is what I was, all these days I was hankering, that ananda, bliss, what I was expecting, it is there. Because the holy name of Krishna and Krishna's person, it is non-different. That when once we start to chant with consistency, we will get to know. Initially, it will not happen. It will take some time. Okay, it will definitely, it will take some time. Okay, 
Now, when it comes to Gauranga, it is not much known in South India. Okay. But Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared 500 years before. That is in 1486. According to English calendar, 1486, 14 February, that is the day Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared. 14 February, that is the Valentine's Day, right? 14 or 15? Because in all 360 days, we have now one special day. We have allocated every day for one women's day, pets day, dog's day, cat's day. <laughs> Valentine's Day. Okay. So Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared 1486, February 14th. Okay. He appeared. So as per the uh, moon calendar, what in India we follow, that day it was a lunar eclipse. Okay. Lunar eclipse. And on the day of Paur Pournami, Purnima, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu appeared. He appeared under a neem tree. Hence his name is called Nimai. Okay. Now, what is the meaning of Chaitanya that we will see sometime? Now, I will go to uh, uh, predictions. Okay. Okay. So, in 5000 years before, when Vyasa Dev, he compiled many Puranas, 18 Puranas in total. Okay. In 18 Puranas, in multiple places, he has already predicted about the appearance of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. So, you are all able to see here. Okay. So, I will read this sloka, then translation. So, another 10 minutes, we will finish the class. I hope it is not boring. Huh? Yeah. That's okay, Prabhu. I will just... Oh, Zoom, you want to share? Okay. Here, here. Okay, first is Adi Purana and Narada Purana. Please remember all these 5000 years before it has been written. Aham Gevad Vijasreshto Nityam Prachanna Vigraha Bhagavad Bhakta Rupena Lokam Rakshasi Sarvada. What happened? I shall advent in the form of a Brahmana devotee and I shall hide my factual identity and I shall deliver all the worlds. Okay, it is in Upapurana. Aham eva kvachit brahman sanyasa ashramam ashritaha hari bhaktim grahyami kalaupapa hatam naran. O Brahmana, I occasionally take the sanyasa ashrama in an attempt to bring the fallen people of Kali Yuga to take up the path of bhakti or devotional service to Krishna. Prediction of his actual time of incarnation. Okay, in Kurma Purana. Kurma Purana. Okay. Kalina Dhakyamana Nam Uttararaya Tanu Pritam Janma Prathama Sandhyayam Bhavishyati Vijalaye The Supreme Person, that is Krishna, will appear in the first part of the age of Kali. He will appear in the home of a Brahmana to save the embodied conditioned souls burning in the troubles of Kali Yuga. See, in Bhagavatam it is mentioned before the Bhagavatam has totally 12 cantos, in the 10th canto is very huge. It talks about Krishna's past times. Before 10th canto starts, 9th canto talks about the nature of Kali Yuga people. Kalau janishya mananam dhukka soka tamonudam anugrahaya bhaktanam supunyam vatanodvasaha Whoever takes birth in the material, uh, in Kali Yuga, in movies, Hero will be fighting, there will be a romance, there will be a love, there will be a cry. Always there will be a background music will be running, right? Like that. Whoever takes birth in this Kali Yuga, Kalau Janishya Mana Nam, Dukha Soka Tamonudam, some kind of lamentation, unhappiness, unknown fear will be always occupied in our heart. <laughs> where it is lamentation, why I am unhappy, where the fear is coming, we do not know. Either I will worry about the past or I will fear about the future. Okay, that is how the Kali Yuga nature. Kalau Janishya Mana Nam, Dukha Sokha Tamonudam, Anugrahaya Bhakta Nam, Supunyam Vetanot Vasaha. To save such people only, Krishna performed many pastimes and it has been recorded in Srimad Bhagavatam. And if somebody reads regularly Bhagavatam, chant the holy names of Krishna, know about Gauranga, worships Gauranga, right? This 
lamentation some kind of unhappiness and unknown fear where it is arising we do not know that unknown fear gradually he will be able to overcome whether moksha or not that is different this stage itself will give more soothing effect for us it is in garuda purana garuda purana i don't know do not know how many of you read it is very nicely given what happens when the soul comes out at the time of death what will happen after one hour when a person passes away the after first hour what will happen who will be there with that person how he will see his relatives it will be like a, a graphical uh, presentation many will get scared also <laughs> okay so in garuda purana it is mentioned kalina dhakyamana nam paritranaya tanubhritam janma pratham sandhyayam karishyami dvijatyushu in the first part of kali yuga i will come among the brahmanas to save the fallen souls who are being burned by the troubles of the age of kali yuga prediction of the name of the mother and actual name of his birth place okay it is also in garuda purana so chaitanya mahaprabhu appeared in west bengal in a place called mayapur this mayapur is comprised of nine islands see ganges is running the ganges has been divided into many parts small small many branches again ganges unites in one place runs as hooghly and goes to ocean so wherever the ganges has been divided into many branches it is totally nayan islands it is so in sanskrit we called nayan dvipas so in one of the dvipa called navadvip okay there chaitanya mahaprabhu appeared but chaitanya mahaprabhu appeared in 1486 krishna but it is given in garuda purana 5000 years before aham purno bhavishyami yuga sandau visheshatah maya pure navadvipe bhavishyami sachi sutah i will take oh huh? ah name is there sachi mata jagannath mishra gaura name will come now i will take birth as the son of sachi in navadvip mayapur i will come in my complete spiritual form see gauranga mahaprabhu or krishna they are not avatars what is mean by avatar avatar means one who descends down see in in mathematics we have studied right a frog fell into a well there are hundred steps in the well the frog was trying to jump three steps but it was falling one step down so if the uh, frog is trying to jump three steps it was falling one step down it means the frog has reached to second step again it is trying to reach the fifth step but one step down it has reached fourth step now if the frog is trying to jump it is not even able to jump one step how the frog will be delivered from the well somebody has to jump into the well they have to carry the frog and it has they have to come out so similarly when we we ourselves we are not able to take care of us how we will be able to deliver us so krishna only has to come okay that's what krishna so other avatars they come they are uh, expansion of krishna they are called avatars but krishna is avatari so krishna or gauranga they are avataris that that original krishna himself came okay it's not special avatar himself that original person himself came prediction of the name of his first future wife and uh, first wife and assumption of sanyasa order same garuda purana kaleh pratham sandhyayam lakshmi kanto bhavishyati bharu brahma samipastah sanyasi gaura vigraha in the first part of kali yuga the supreme personality of godhead will come in a golden form gaura anga gaura means golden okay why they, he has to appear in golden form see krishna is very black okay but krishna he realized whenever krishna and radha rani met krishna thought what whenever i see radha rani radha rani looks more beautiful when she does service to me she appears more blissful what is that which is making her more blissful and more beautiful i want to taste that okay so krishna accepted the mood of radha rani krishna but he wanted to see what is there inside so he accepted the mood of radha rani he became golden color that's why his name is called gaura anga gauranga all parts of his body became gauranga first he will become the husband of lakshmi actually lakshmi priya 
Vishnu Priya, two wives, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu married, then he will become a sannyasi near Lord Jagannath, who will appear in a divine wooden form. So we are seeing Jagannath, Baladev, Shubhatra, right? So why Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has to stay in Jagannath Puri? That is a different past time. In some other day, we will discuss hmm? prediction of the bodily color of Sri Chaitanya and the nature of his future activities. It is in Narasimha Purana. Okay. Satya Daite Kula Satya Daite Kula Dinasha Samahe Simmordva Martya Kritas Retayam Das Kandarvam Paribhavam Rameti Namaskritaha. The Supreme Personality of Godhead, who in the Satya Yuga appeared as half man, half lion. That is in Satya Yuga, Narasimha Dev appeared. Okay. To cure a terrible disease that had ravaged the Daityas. Who in the Treta Yuga appeared as a person, Rama? Lord Rama was in which color? Huh? Green. Ah, green. <laughs> the person who defeated the ten-headed Ravana, I think that translation not there, and that same person, he will also appear. Treta Yam Daskhandargam. Okay, I will read further. Gopalam Paripalayam Brajapure Bharat Apare Gaurangaha Priya Kirtanaha Kali Yuge Chaitanya Nama Prabhu. In Narshima Purana, the name itself given Gauranga Priya Kirtanaha. What he will introduce? He likes Sankirtan. And he will introduce this Sankirtan to everyone. Kali Yuge Chaitanya Nama. He will also have another name called Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. In the Dwapara Yuga, remove the earth's burden and protect that. What is the Dwapara Yuga? Remove the earth's burden means. Krishna appeared to, to remove the burden of the earth. What is meant by that? You all know how many people participated in Mahabharat war? Mahabharat war. We have seen, right? No, 18 Akshavanis you are telling. Akshavanis. is okay, but total number of count. One lakh, but still actually that is not the actual count. How many people died in Mahabharat war? Why we have to call it as Mahabharat war? Why that war is given so much importance? There are so many other wars also. Na? Panipat war, German war, Brooklyn war, <laughs> Second World war. <laughs> Daily there is one war between husband and wife. <laughs> you got <a> problem. <laughs> there is, in Mahabharat it is written that 64 crores of people died. 64 crores. 64 crore warriors participated in Mahabharat war. Everybody died except Panja Pandavas. That's why. And you know Ramayan how many? Lord Ram was fighting with Ravana, right? Monkeys and Rakshasas. You know how many? How many? Guess. One lakh crore is called one Shankha. One lakh one Shankha is called one Padma. One lakh Padma is called one Vrinda. 1 lakh Vrinda is called 1 Mahavrinda. 1 lakh Mahavrinda is called 1 uh, Shanka, Patma, Kharna. Okay. And 1 lakh Kharna is called 1 Mahakarna. And 1 crore Mahakarna monkeys are present with Lord Ram. <laughs> so when Pandavas, one of the Pandavas, Bhishma, Bhim, Bhim, he went to Sri Lanka uh, to Vibhishan to request, uh, requesting him to participate in Mahabharat war. He said, this is the count which we were fighting. It's only 64 crores. Na. It is a small child, children fight. I cannot come. Because during Ramayan war, 64 crores of monkeys were beating kettle drums and they were playing music to encourage other monkeys. It's a small war. I cannot participate. You take care of. Obvious, na. some tea stop owner comes and asks us to write software. We won't do. If some client in US, if he pays $1 billion, we will pay, <laughs> we will write software. <laughs> In Padma Purana, okay. Yetra Yogesh Varaha Sakshat, Yogi Chintyo Janardhanaha, Chaitanya Vapur Astevai, Sandra Nandat Makaha. The Supreme Personality Janardhana, who is the opposite of Yogi's meditation, uh, who saves the devotees from various sufferings, who is the master of all yogic practices, who is always full of divine transcendental ecstasy and bliss, uh, who is always full of divine transcendental ecstasy and bliss, will advent in his own divine form of Sri Chaitanya. So, if I squeeze 
orange i will get orange juice if i squeeze apple if i will get apple juice so with whom i am associating i will get their happiness and the problems thinking that marriage will give happiness i am getting married to another person but if that person has fully problems i will also get transferred with that problems okay but krishna is full of bliss and ecstasy so if i associate with chaitanya mahaprabhu by chanting hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 rama hare rama 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 hare hare i will also start to get that bliss okay okay kale he prathama sandhyayam gaurang gotam mahitale bhagirati tateram ye bhavishyami sachi sutah i shall appear on this year in the first part of kali yuga 432000 so we have to end from there so another 5 minutes huh? that's it first part of kali yuga in a beautiful bank on the bank of bhagirathi ganga has another name called bhagirathi hmm? i shall have a golden farm and i shall take birth as the son of sachi okay there is a song also available in bengali jai jai jagannath sachi ranandan vibhuvane kore jai charana vandan ah no no not that song there is an acharya called sarvabhuma bhattacharya okay he has written a song नव गौरवर नव पुष्प सरम नव भावधरम नव लास्य परम नव हास्य करम नव हेमवरम प्रणमा सचे सुत गौरवरम हाउ दट गौरंग हेज बीन अपियर्ड इन दि फॉर्म ऑफ गोल्डन ओके लाइक दट ई कैन कीप गोइंग सो ई विल अनदर टू मिनिट्स ई विल स्टाप नारद पुराना इट इज मेन्श अहम एव कलो विप्र नित्यम प्रचन्न विग्रह भक्तरूपेण लोकन रक्षा सर्वधा ओ विप्र इन दि एज आफ कली ई विल कम डिस्कस्ड एस ए डिवोटी एंड ई विल सेव आल दि वर्ल्ड ओके ई वोट प्रोसीड फॉर दर् बिकॉज हंड्रेड स्लैड्स आर दर् वेर कृष्णा विल अपियर वाट विल बी हिस् नेम इन वायुपुराण मत्स्यपुराण कूर्मपुराण ओके सो कृष्ण has appeared as his own devotee to give that ananda what we are expecting by the chanting of hari krishna maha mantra so request is we should all chant we all should continue the chanting in 24 hours a day that 5 minutes 10 minutes or 30 minutes we have to dedicate some time constantly we have to chant and each syllable we have to pronounce clearly हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 एंड हाउ टू चैंड व्हाट शुड बी अवर मूड लाइक ए चाइल्ड हू हैज बीन सेपरेटेड फ्रॉम ए मदर हाउ द चाइल्ड विल क्राई लाइक दैट कृष्ण आई हैम ए सोल सेपरेटेड फ्रॉम यू प्लीज हेल्प मी सो इन दैट मूड वी हैव टू कीप चैंटिंग एंड सीइंग अवर सिंसियरिटी द लॉर्ड विल रिवील द टेस्ट इन द होली नेम and we will realize oh this is what i was expecting and then no need to others to convince us we ourselves will get convinced this is the process recommended in this kali yuga hmm? okay time is 5:46 till now what we have discussed is only about gauranga mahaprabhu's predictions and krishna whenever krishna appears then chaitanya mahaprabhu appeared okay further chaitanya mahaprabhu's past times there are much more written in a literature called chaitanya charitamrita okay so maybe you all please keep coming whenever we have time when whenever time permits in some additional day we will try to catch uh, catch hold of some other day we will discuss more hmm? okay i will stop here so any questions i will share the notes whatever we have put in the excel <laughs> सुखी जगन्नाथ प्रभु हरे 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 ह
uh, it will be just five minutes. Everybody can offer flower to the uh, Gauranga. And, uh, <clears throat> and after that, we will have Prashadam. Okay. Uh, the announcements are. Uh, um, oh, you take over. We sit yeah. down.